This is our Twitter account for Hunt the Noise, and we use it to interact with our fans. We here we've got interactions between our friends, and we have followers, and we use it to get audience feedback. This is an app that you can get on the iPhone called Instagram. It allows you to share pictures with friends and other people that have the app. It also allows you to edit pictures like these that are on my digipack. I edit them by clicking on the different effects at the bottom. You can also add borders and washes on the top of the screen. And this is an app on iPhone between me, Lila and Jolie. And we were having a three-way conversation on where to meet and what times in order to have the organised um, filming schedule. This is a website called Blogger that we use to display our blogs and track our progress throughout the project. You can add posts and also delete them if you want to change them. You can also edit them and change the dates of the posts to put them in a different order. Um, Blogger is really good for posting videos and keeping track of your progress throughout the project. This is the software Excel that all three of us use to create charts to display our audience feedback. It's a really good visual aid for our blogs and an easy way to record audience feedback. This is Prezi and it's a more modern version of PowerPoint presentation where we can show pictures and videos of our music video and our ideas and it's a good visual aid. Mobile phones really helped in the construction of our video as we were able to spontaneously take images of possible locations and maybe costumes and keep in contact. This is YouTube. We were able to use this to access any music videos we wanted to on the internet. We also used it to put our music video on, which meant we could use it on our blogs and very different places. This is our music video on YouTube. Um, it was useful because we could use it to research other videos and it was the main place we were able to watch them. This is a video that we were inspired by when making our project. You can listen to the audio or watch the official music video. This is Gmail. We use this um, to contact people and they can contact us back whenever they wanted. Here we've contacted um, Blue Horizons which was the label for Fleetwood Mac and we asked for some, some choice initially. This is a flip camera which we use in our production. It was easy to take out and do some spontaneous filming. It had a USB port which was easy to upload footage and a HD lens which led to better quality footage. We were very organised when filming our last um, scene shot because we found out the sunset times and we ensured to get the correct lighting. This is a clothing website called Nasty Girl. Clothing websites are useful for us because we were able to look at the recent trends in fashion which we wanted to include in our video as it was quite a big theme. It also inspired us with images. This is a website called weheartit.com which collects a number of pictures off of Tumblr which is a blogging website and you can search for any category of pictures you'd like to look at. We particularly used fashion so we could look at costumes for our video and so they fitted in with the theme of youth. This is editing software called Final Cut. Similar to iMovie, you can use it to edit your footage that you've collected. You can use um, videos you already have in iMovie and then edit them and import them back. It's more details in advance in terms of the techniques you can use. We used iMovie to import and edit our footage. Um, here are all the frames for our film and you can see that we've added audio and further down there's transactions that we've also added. You can also change the effect of certain shots and it's really a good way to edit our music video. Here are the cameras that we use to film our video. As you can see they're HD Panasonic and also have an SD card which is much easier to upload our footage onto the Mac rather than for a firewire. Um, it's also got two lights on the front and zoom features as well. These are the lights that we used while filming our lip syncing. We use these lights because they ensure a higher quality of footage and also mean that our image is brighter and easier to see. We use them on a white background to add effect. This is a software called Photoshop which we use to create our digipacks and our magazine adverts. Here we have our toolbox where we can basically do anything, or add text, change the effect. To create this evaluation question we also managed to find out how to do 
No Screen Recordings, which is like an in-screen recorder. And we use it to film this, and it's a really easy way, rather than setting up a camera in front, it ensures a better quality, and we make sure that we get everything in.